It's hard to believe, but this is our last Thursday thoughts of 2021. Next week, I'm gonna be spending some time with family. And so just kind of wanted to give some closing thoughts to this crazy year. It is so funny that Cindy uh, sent me a meme of um, basically saying, realizing that it's the end of 2021, you're about to go into 2022 and you're still processing 2020. Can can anyone relate with that? I'm just like, wow, I'm here at the at Moonlight Beach. We're doing a, a youth day because the, the youth are all out of um, school for Christmas break and we're doing a bonfire and some s'mores, Christmas carols, that kind of thing. So they're all in the water right now. And uh, I was just building this fire and I just wanted to thank each of you guys for uh, joining me in this journey um, that started Thursday thought started you know in the craziness of, of 2020 and has just been going through all of this and I'm just I'm so thankful for each of you that have uh, gone with the ups and the downs and have spent time just these couple of minutes every single week uh, just kind of processing what it is that God's doing I, I think even though that was a meme I think it's important for us to do to sit down, take some time. So while all the all of our youth are out in the water, that's exactly what I've been doing. Just going, God, this year has been really good and really hard. And next year, I don't know. I just get a sense it's it's there's going to be even more extremes. Really, really amazing times and really, really hard times. And uh, just trying to prepare my heart for that, not dragging a whole bunch of baggage into the new year, but really just kind of saying, hey, God, I'm going to put this into your hands, right? I'm going to give you my worries and my fears, and I'm going to let what needs to burn, burn, and what needs to remain, remain, so that what's of the Lord is still with me, is what I'm focusing on in the next year. And I just really feel like... This next year is about fruitfulness, but that fruitfulness is only gonna come through consecration. I'm super excited about our Christmas Eve services coming up um, at the Father's house. Uh, God gave me a, a, a really great message for that, but I'm actually even more excited about our consecration service on the 26th. I was seriously praying about not doing a service. A lot of my pastor friends aren't doing a uh, service on the 26th and as I prayed about it I just felt like the Lord challenged me and said give me this day because there's going to be at least one person who's going to come um, that's going to need a place to go on that Sunday on the 26th and so we're calling it consecration Sunday consecration is a word that we don't really use a lot but it really means to dedicate ourselves to a higher purpose than ourselves isn't that good? So we're going to have communion. This is going to be a, um, a one hour service. But even as I was thinking about that, consecrated unto the Lord, set apart unto the Lord, uh, letting uh, what's of John, what's of my entitlement, um, the things that I need uh, out of insecurity to promote myself, letting all of that burn up at the threshold of a brand new year and heading into that year uh, set apart for him. So we're even gonna, you guys will be hearing about this a little bit more, but we're gonna even be calling church to a fast. We'd love to have you join us uh, the second week of uh, January and you'll be hearing more about that along with our um, our Foursquare denomination will be doing that. And we wanna, we wanna just really set ourselves aside for what it is that God wants to do and lay everything else, right? Lay it, everything else on the altar and uh, as I was just praying through and reading through, Jesus was reminding his disciples in Luke chapter 22 that for the kingdom of God, it's not about being served, it's about serving. It's a great reversal that if we want to be consecrated unto the Lord, we have to recognize it's consecrated unto serving. So instead of the world, which is I graduate out of serving, uh, Pastor Wayne put it this way, in the kingdom of God, we graduate to serving. And the greatest test of a servant is when we're treated like one, right? And um, and so Jesus says, though, that in, in that Last Supper moment, he's looking his disciples in the eyes, he's washing their feet, and he's saying, do as I have done. If you want to find me, I'm going to be a found among those who serve. And I just, it even plays into our whole Christmas story where you couldn't find baby Jesus in the palace. 
and you couldn't find him in the temple. You couldn't find him in the homes of renown and reputation. Where did you find baby Jesus? Among those who serve, uh, Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and eventually the wise men, those who had laid down their lives to serve the purposes of the Messiah, Simeon and Anna, Zechariah and Elizabeth. Even his first coming was about being found among those who serve it. It indicated to the world, this is what's important to our God. It kind of flips the whole thing on its head. And so I've just been to, um, kind of trying to make sure I'm not in such a rush doing so many fun Christmas things that I'm not actually spending time with the one that Christmas is all about. And so I just want to encourage you in these remaining days of, of 2021 to make sure that you are letting some time Taking some time between you and the Lord and spending that with him. Uh, go over the hard things and hand that to the Lord so you're not bringing it into the next year. Hand him the good things and let everything that is not of him burn up and let what is of him remain so that we can head into the year fully consecrated as those who will serve. My goal is to set my heart to put a towel around my waist and serve a world, even when that world rejects me, even then when that world is so polarized uh, in uh, political ways, in, in almost every way right now, that you and I would set our hearts to be found among those who serve. I've never felt closer to Jesus than when I'm serving. So that, that be my kind of closing challenge to you in this uh, beautiful setting here is that you and I would find our, our way to serve those that God has put around us, starting, of course, with our family, uh, our church, our workplace, our neighbors, our friends, but all the way to our enemies, because that's what Jesus modeled for us. So let's do that. Let's be consecrated and serving, because if you want to find Jesus, if you want to get closer to him in this next year, he's found among those who serve, not serve themselves, and entitlement, but serve others and laying their lives down. So happy new year, you guys. Uh, the next time we talk, it's going to be 2022. I hope you have an amazing time with your family. And I, and I, I, I challenge you as you set your heart to serve instead of be served. I have a feeling your celebration will be better than ever before. So I'm going to throw some more wood on the fire here. We're going to roast some marshmallows. We're going to enjoy our time together with, um, with the youth. And I can't wait to see you guys next year. God bless. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.